Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. This is an energy update for you. This is a reading for whoever's watching. Um, so if you're drawn here by the title, I hope that's of benefit to you. Then there's definitely a message in here for you. Um, I will pull cards for each zodiac sign in the extended, just so you know. I want to go deeper into the reading, and we'll see what comes up. Uh, today on Pathfinders, I do an intuition class every Wednesday for my Pathfinders uh, live, and you can ask questions. Um, I'm going to talk about the Claire's. It's one of my most requested classes to talk about clairsentience, clairaudience, clairvoyance, and how you can develop these skills, okay? How you can develop these skills and harness these skills to help you navigate life in a much more fulfilling way. All right, let's see what wants to come in today for everybody watching, please. Okay, let's see. We've got the trust card. Got the trust card. I'm going to move you back here just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. How come, how come you're so close to me today? The trust card. Divine Masculine has been showing up quite a bit. Jealousy. Oh, my goodness. And safe travel. Uh, wow. I was just thinking actually about that card, safe travel. If you are doing some traveling with your divine partner, this reading might be for you. I get the feeling that there is trust and jealousy are two sides of the same coin, right? It's sort of like when we have a lot of trust in a person and they violate that, there can be ongoing jealousy whenever anything kind of triggers that. Um, there's something about getting away with your divine partner, um, traveling with them or being with them in a more prolonged period of time. So this is something that might be nice to, to kind of steep yourself in that connection. So let's see what's going on. That's interesting. The jealousy part is, it's kind of like a really interesting trigger. It's basically saying like, what are you missing out on? Or what do you feel you're missing out on? It can be a little bit of FOMO, just like fear of missing out. But I, I, I feel like this goes deeper. This has to do with some of you have a divine masculine who is in another connection. Uh, some of you have, um, yes, some of you have a divine masculine who is in another connection. And this is being triggered right now. Uh, they could also have some jealousy around you if you're traveling or if you're doing something and they want to be with you, but they can't. Uh, there's something like that going on. So underneath is the four of pentacles, the world card, the justice card, the queen of pentacles and the moon. So something happened in that, um, that new moon energy, new moon in Aries, something happened. OK, and this person may be triggered to reach out to you. They may be for some reason they've been holding back on telling you what's really going on. Some of them could be in the middle of a divorce. Some of them could have asked for a divorce. I feel like they didn't tell you, though, about that or asked for some kind of justice in their lives. So this could be that they, you know, changed their lives in some very powerful way and they're not telling you about it the Aries eclipse may change that. Okay. That they might be coming forward to tell you something. Oh yeah. Chariot. Yes. Right. Coming forward to tell you some kind of truth. I'm going to look, um, I'm going to use this deck, the hidden truth Oracle here in a second. So let's see the page of swords. This person is definitely reaching out to you to tell you something really important. All right, we'll dive into that. It can be that they're hiding the fact that they are no longer with another person. I don't know why they're hiding it. I think they might be afraid of getting swamped. So if this is a divine masculine partner who needs to do a lot of healing around, you know, being in a relationship that kind of swamped them in the past, or you might have uh, it, it just might have been too much, you know, very, very common to have twin flame relationships just feel like too much. OK, um, King of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, Five of Swords. Wow. OK, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you you feel like this person could be manipulative. 
But really this kind of like dragging their feet and stagnation. Hmm. You might feel like, why aren't you telling me what's going on? Why is this such a secret? Why aren't you saying what's going on with you? The seven of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the eight of swords. This person feels like their hands are tied. Okay. This person feels like their hands are tied. Talk to me about that. King of Swords, there's a lot of truth here that they want to tell. Six of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Four of Swords. This person just needs some healing time, okay? I, I get the feeling that the timing is a little bit important somehow. The timing is important. Like when they tell you or when they don't tell you, the timing is important. In Virgo season. In time for Virgo season, in time for their birthday. So I'm going to say to you, I see Cancer here, Cancer, Libra, Pisces, Aquarius. Okay, also Virgo, Virgo or Capricorn, right? Uh, or Taurus. This, this always looks like uh, Taurus to me. And I like that the masculine looks like Taurus because it makes me feel like this masculine um, is wanting to make something solid, solid. And they're, they're wanting to tell you the truth. They could be dealing with a person who's very manipulative and dragging their feet because of money. Okay. So if this person has taken care of themselves and is getting away from a divine partner, um, a karmic partner, or someone who is um, all 3D, there's, there's nothing... Not, I mean, there is a spiritual connection between those two people. They are soulmates. That might feel kind of bad to you hearing that, but they are soulmates. And the thing they have to learn has something to do with the truth. Something to do with their truth, speaking the truth, being able to stand up for themselves. I see that a lot with this Aries eclipse energy. I feel like this person hasn't told you the truth for a while. Okay. I feel like they haven't told you the truth for a while. The seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles, they are wanting to build something with you. They are wanting to put some time and effort into that with you. Uh, I do feel like they might have, um, this definitely says to me that they're, they feel like their hands are tied. All right. They feel like their hands are tied. So, um, let's look at the hidden truth here. Okay, let's look at the hidden truth. What is the hidden truth from this person? What is really going on with this person? Can't stop thinking about you. I'm so attracted to you. Wow. Wow. I am becoming a better person. Mm, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So there might have been a couple of times, you know, this, if we're talking about divine feminine, divine masculine, like you guys connect and, and move away from each other. It's like rubber bands. Okay. And I feel like there's something here. This masculine is saying like, I'm ready to step forward with the truth now. And in the past, I feel like you both have had, blinkers on or kind of a lack of awareness about what the learning was to be during that cycle. You may have just had uh, a time period just recently where you were connected and it kind of fell apart because like there's something here about real truth, like deeply rooted truth uh, that needs to come out. Deeply rooted truth that needs to come out. I am becoming a better person. Wow. All right. Because that moon card makes me feel like there's some things from the subconscious that need to come up so that you can be. Yes. Yes. Some things from the subconscious need to surface so that you can um, that you can really um, share your truth with each other. Like you might be using them all due respect in the past as a distraction from pain. And they might have been using you to distract from their own situation. 
All right, you guys kind of using each other. It's very common. It's very common. Okay, no disrespect. Um, three of Swords. Lots of hurt in this. Queen of Cups. Page of Wands. Three of Wands. This masculine is turning their back on an immature way of being connected to you. They've been connected to you, not through the heart necessarily, although that three of swords makes me feel like they constantly have been trying to reconnect with you to share their feelings, queen of cups, but they've always like defaulted into passion. They've always defaulted into sex. It's about sex. And they really want to share their feelings for you, but like kind of don't know where to start. Okay. So three of wands, they could, and then they just turn their back, right? They just turn their back. So this person is putting in some time and effort here. I really like this. The 10 of wands, um, they have come to some kind of end of the road. And I can't stop thinking about you and I am becoming a better person. Wow. Wow. All right, let's go deeper into this reading. Um, if you're wanting to become part of Pathfinders, there's a link in the description box below. We'll talk about the Claire's today. Let's go deeper into this connection and um, give you some advice. I will pull cards for each Zodiac sign, like I said. All right, link is below. If you want to continue on, I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.